The gastrointestinal, or GI tract, plays a key role in both the pathogenesis of HIV infection and its clinical manifestations, such as HIV-associated wasting. GI disorders of both the upper and lower tract are prevalent in the HIV-infected population and can include oral lesions, difficulty swallowing, abdominal pain, cramping, and diarrhea, to name a few. Let's look at some of the changes that occur in people living with HIV. Normally, the gut maintains tight junctions between cells, forming a nearly impermeable barrier. This prevents the permeation of pro-inflammatory pathogens, toxins, and antigens from leaking into the circulatory system. These tight junctions help maintain mucosal integrity with the help of growth factors, hormones, and immune cells such as dendrites, which produce soluble cytokines that act as messengers between innate and adaptive immune systems. The largest component of the mucosal immune system is gut-associated lymphoid tissue, or GALT, one of the primary target tissues during acute HIV infection. As time goes on, even with antiretroviral therapy, Viral replication continues in the GALT, despite undetectable viral loads in the blood, and serves as a reservoir of the virus, stimulating inflammation and immune activation. In addition, the presence of HIV alters the gut flora and can result in long-term effects on epithelial barrier and T-cell function in the gut, even after years on antiretroviral treatment. Over time, these changes continue to diminish the integrity of the protective mucosal barrier. These disruptions of the GI tract are associated with inflammation and malabsorption of vital nutrients, which can contribute to HIV-associated wasting. A recent study found that changes to the gut in HIV-infected individuals reduced the gut's capacity to absorb two of the amino acids that are essential for protein synthesis. These amino acids, phenylalanine and lysine, cannot be synthesized by the body and need to be obtained from food. Thus, proteins that include these essential amino acids cannot be produced despite consuming those essential amino acids. Even while on combination antiretroviral therapy, or CART, patients may have persistent HIV-related pathogenesis within the GI tract. These GI tract changes are considered to be among the most important contributing factors leading to HIV-associated wasting.